Originally, the first unified track and field team started with within the Crestwood Area School District. Uh, I believe it was Bob Mahalik that organized it, and since he came to our district as our new assistant superintendent, he thought maybe it would be a good idea to try and get something like this, you know, within our own school district. And so it was thrown out there, and I thought to myself, I. I love to work out, I love competition, I love working with my students with special needs, so this would be the perfect thing to put it all together. Today is a day where students with special needs and students without special needs come together. They compete with each other and they compete with other teams from the Luzerne County. It's all about inclusion. That's the most important thing and it's about acceptance. What do you hope the kids get out of it and what do you guys, get the coaches get out of it? Quite frankly, peer relationships, being part of a team, being a competitor, being unified, cheering for each other, loving the fact that they are out here doing something that they've never done before. They're stepping out of their comfort zone and we're doing this together. Well, I, this is my first time doing this. Okay. So what do you think? What, what is the team brought to your life? Well, it's very social. Uh -huh. There's a lot of good coaches, teammates. So far, we're doing good. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite part of this so far? The running and the jumping. What events do you compete in? Uh, 400, the relay, and the long jump. <laughs> have you seen your times get better as you progress through the yeah. season? Yeah, yeah. Certainly have. Tell me about, like, did you meet new people? Yeah, I have. This? So, yeah. like, did you make them friends? Yes, okay. indeed I have. So, so tell me about what you guys do then when you're not, you know, at practice. Well, we see each other randomly. Do you think you're going to keep running even after you graduate? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your training that you've been doing before the meet. Well, I've been doing a lot, like doing the exercises, a lot of workouts. Yeah. How many and days a week? Two. Two days a week. Are you exhausted? Nope. No? <laughs> I'm just full of energy. What would you say to other people that were on the fence that didn't join this year? What What would you say to convince them to say, hey, you should come out next year Tell them, you know, about this? There's really good coaches. They're very nice, and so are the teammates. And this is really fun to do. And this is not all about running. You can also do throwing, jumping, and all that. And if you're not much of a runner, you could always just sprint the hundred like my other teammates do so that are not spot, runners. There's a spot for everybody, right? Yes, indeed. Lane three, Quinn Chris Bell from Willie Lane. Lane four, Joseph Pavilion. Lane five, Storm Dawson. The fact that we could not have done this without our school community, without you know, the commu surrounding community, without the parents, and quite frankly, um, our coaches, and most importantly, our students. They're volunteering to give time away from some of them who work, have jobs, some of them who might have chores at home. They're coming here, and it's nice exercise for them. This is just absolutely amazing. We have received so much support, not just from our athletes and their parents, but the entire school community and the community in general. Any student uh, from 9th to 12th grade who attends, whether it be the STEM school, the high school, or the career center can participate.